Oh, that is a look. Ow. Ooh, this is a very different layout for me. I'm just in bed with my joggers on. Hello everyone, we are having a pretty chilled video today. As seen by the title, I will be sharing with you how I achieve heatless overnight curls. This is something I picked up during lockdown and I've done quite a few times and have been complimented on them and been asked how I do them, so I thought there's a video. But it's me, so it's not just going to be a tutorial. I'm also going to have a little chat as I feel like we haven't spoken in a while, and by we I mean me just out loud, which I do every day anyway, but anyway. Before we do get on to the steps, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I've reached 1,000 subscribers. It only took me about 10 years. That's not even a joke. I genuinely think I started this no, I think I started like eight years ago. I have no clue. It's taken me a long time. But thank you so much. If you're new here and are watching for the first time or you have been watching and haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And depending on what format you're watching this on, there might be a little icon in the corner that you can hover over and subscribe to. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up. Who have I become? So let's get on to the steps. First of all, you will need the string that goes around your robe or your bathrobe, whatever there is, something like this. You will also need one bobby pin or grip. I've been calling it bobby pin for such a long time I have no idea what it's actually called here. <laughs> and two headbands. Uh, don't, you don't want to be too small, too thin, they're just going to be at the ends as if you're tying like your hair into plaits. And of course a brush. So as I mentioned before, I have about mid-length hair, I don't know, it's kind of getting longer obviously because it's growing. It's very straight hair, no, I, I mean I've literally, I've washed it, shampoo, conditioner, I let it air dry and this is what's happened. If your hair is a little bit shorter than mine, I think it might be a little bit difficult, uh, I think the longer the hair is better, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I do and then chat through what's been going on. First of all, you're going to want to get a middle parting, as you would for any... Oh, that is a look! This does not want to go there. <laughs> you want to get as close to a middle parting as you can, and then just go down the middle at the back of your head as well. I'm not going to show you what it looks like, because it's probably not even straight. Get it as straight as you can, it's not that important because it's not the actual, this isn't the actual hairstyle. I also really like the end product as an actual hairstyle, like before I go to bed, it looks really cute. It looks like I'm in My Fair Lady, honest. Once you've split these, just give it a nice brush through, a bit nicer than mine, mine was a bit painful. Ow, ow, ow. I'm now just going to put one into place just so it doesn't go anywhere. Where's it gonna go? I don't know. Then we're just going to find the middle of this. This is when it starts getting really funky. And we're just gonna pop it in the middle with the grip. We're going to just slide this grip here. Voila. This is so cute. I'm gonna start on the left side of my hair and all I'm gonna do is grab a bit from the top, about this much, whatever amount that is. You can go a little bit in as well, not just from the front. And I'm going to grab it. You don't need to twist it or anything, but you're gonna twist it around this and then bring it back so it's facing the front and then just to make sure it's tight just give it a little pull just so this stays tight then you're going to grab some more it's kind of like a dutch braid or french braid where you just go back and each time you add some more and then you're just going to repeat and go round and that's what i'm going to do for the next couple of minutes make sure to also grab hair from the back of your hair the back of your head as you don't want that to just stay straight and add right at the end you want to make sure it's coming through as well I think that honestly took me about like a minute not even that was so fast when you finished all the hair on this side and you've got I've got about this much left you're going to continue wrapping it around and wrap it back up whenever you can and then at the end you're just going to fold this bit up and with one of your hair bands you're going to tie it at the bottom so it stays like this and that's one side done now that i've done one side i'm going to do exactly the same on the other side making sure i'm getting hair from the back still 
so they're still being joined on basically and then we'll resume the chat And there you have it, this side is now completed and the last thing you want to do is just these bits, you want to just tie them at the back, just a knot, don't know how I'm going to show you this, but it's just, see I just don't know if you can see that, it's just a knot at the back. I always seem to get one side a bit uh, tighter than the other, I think this side's normally a bit looser, this one's quite tight. but. I mean, that doesn't matter. They're going to be loose curls. They're not going to be too curly. You want it a little bit dry. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit damp. You don't want it too wet. You're going to wake up and it's still going to be wet. So you want to make sure that it's a little bit damp or a little bit dry. You want to make sure it's more on the dry side. Right, so if you just want to see the finished look, then I shall pop a time here for you to skip to so you can see the finished look. But if you're here for a general chit chat, if you want to listen to what I want to say, good then you're listening. So, how am I finding lockdown? I tweeted yesterday saying that I have always been someone who's written their weekly plans. I like to be productive, I like to know what I'm doing, to know that I'm being creative with my time. So, being in lockdown, I've made sure that I've been on top of my game and using my time wisely, creating these songs, doing duets with people, creating little projects, doing solo stuff, doing these videos, my YouTube has picked up so well, I'm so so happy and all these things I'm genuinely really really happy about. And I think part of me, if you watched my how are we video, I think that's what I titled it, you would have known that I was in a pretty weird space mind and that was last, when I say September, can't really remember, I'll put it up here if you haven't watched it. Yeah it was basically me just chatting a lot about how I was feeling mentally. So I think my mind and body are creating all these projects for me to do, which I'm not going to stop because I absolutely love, but I'm piling on a lot and lot of stuff because I don't want to stop. I don't want to go back to that space where I don't have anything to do and I don't, I just feel lost. So I think that's where I'm struggling with either doing nothing or doing so much that I forget to take a break, which is where I was probably a week ago. I had a bit of a moment, <laughs> uh, I'm quite a self-critical person anyway, a perfectionist if you will, and I've just googled the meaning for perfectionist and it is a person who refuses to accept any standard short of perfection. And sometimes I feel like I'm fine, like I post in things, my, my songs that I've posted, I know that some of the notes are a little bit off or something's a little bit funny but I quite like that raw feeling. I want to show my live vocals and I'll touch up a few bits here and there if needed but I don't want to touch up too much because then it brings away the the authentic side. Blah, blah, blah. Was that for sense? <laughs> so I think because I haven't been singing live and performing on the weekends, going to rehearsals and feeling the song as such, feeling the performance. I, at the moment, I'm obviously, I'm loving these recordings and I will continue doing them, but I'm recording myself singing, so I'm hearing myself a lot. So even though before I used to overthink how I used to sound and be a perfectionist, be self-critical, now I'm doing that even more because I'm listening to myself constantly. So that's where I need to change my way of thoughts and think, actually, you know, I do sing live and I love that feeling. So trust myself that what I'm listening to is how I sound, if that makes sense. I just felt like I wanted to get that out there as I was struggling with coming to terms with that and I was talking to probably two of my closest friends plus Jacob last week and I was me messaging them throughout the whole day, I was sending them songs, I kept saying is this okay, am I being silly, I know you guys are going to tell me the truth and all of them came back with such lovely compliments so I think it was genuinely, it, it was me being silly but not silly because you should never call yourself silly because it's how you're feeling. Actually make that three friends I was talking to because then I messaged someone the next day. I feel so relaxed talking with my hair like this now. <laughs> After talking to Jacob and a few of my friends I think I was beginning to realise that I was missing the joy of just singing and I think I was doing it for the wrong reasons. I was just purely last week is when I felt 
felt it the most. I was, I was editing, I was putting quizzes together, even though it's something that I enjoy, it was like I didn't have any time just to sit and do nothing. So when I did come to sing, it was only when I was recording a song. So I, my brain was associating the singing with the recording rather than the singing with the joy. All I was doing was singing and listening to myself, critiquing, redoing bits if I wanted to do bits, but otherwise doing the whole take again and just being annoyed at myself because I, that's all, I was singing, listening, singing, listening, singing, listening, so I was just in this weird brain pattern and I couldn't get out. After that day, those hours, however long that moment lasted, I now feel a lot better. I've just, you know, gone back to my own self, I've been singing in my room for the pure joy, singing for myself, and I've got many duets and I'm gonna leave it as there. Oh, actually, you would have seen it by now, wouldn't you? It's Tuesday now, it hasn't actually uploaded, but we posted a trio on Wednesday, so I've been trying to come up with new projects which will get me involved with more people, more collaborations, which will be super fun, and bigger projects. So instead of me just listening to my voice as it is and just being so in my head about it, I'm actually enjoying it because I'm working on harmonies and blend and my mix is hopefully getting better so I meant the um, editing and balancing all that stuff I'm really enjoying that side I think I've talked long enough I'm waving my hairbrush around but thank you guys for listening if you were listening to this part and if you skipped this part you're not listening so I'm not wasting any words in you <laughs> Just to clarify, it is a weird time that we are going through. No one really knows when the end is. We know there will be an end. We know that things are going to slowly be lifted and how we approach things and approach the world will be a bit scary and daunting at first, but we will get there hand in hand. And also everything that we are doing now will better us in the future. Me, personally, I have found the joy of doing these videos again, so I won't stop that. All I will change is taking more breaks. I think I'm too harsh on myself. I want to get the job done. Once I've got a project in mind, I like getting it done. That's just who I am. I want to get it done as soon as possible. But I know it's okay and it's good to take a break. Give yourself those few hours, especially when the sun's out. Go outside and sunbathe. I think I'm telling me this while I'm editing, that I can actually leave the editing and go outside for a bit, then come back to the editing. That is okay. Anyway, let's get on to tomorrow morning when I take this off. Have a lovely sleep. See you in about two seconds. It is the morning! I woke up at 6.30 today because I think I was just really excited to do this. It's now 7.30. I lied, it's 8.30. I woke up at 7.30, but it's 8.30 while we're doing this. I hope you all had a wonderful two seconds sleep because we're straight in with this. And as you can see, it stayed in position. It's come a little bit loose. It's really weird when you first start sleeping that you kind of like, you don't want to mess it up, but trust that if you've done it tight enough, it shouldn't mess up. So it's a little bit weird, but um, it's basically stayed where it was. Success. I'm going to start by untying, again, I don't know how to show the back of my head, but untying the ribbon, the tie, I don't know. We're untying this so it comes out. Then all you need to do for those hair bands on the side, I'll do, I'll do this side first, is just gently pull at this and it should just ping off like magic. Then all you need to do is start unwrapping. Oh my god, it looks, it's turned out really well today. Last thing you need to do is obviously take the grip out. And that's not the last thing you need to do actually because this isn't the finished look. So as you can see, it looks a bit weird because obviously you have slept on it so it's a bit mismatched doesn't really know where oh what's happening here love it it's really really nice looking waves curls however you want to describe them now that you've got this sort of wave just mix it around with your hands a little bit and go through it with your fingers or get a small little comb i think this was actually from a birch box birch box accessories it was just loosely run through it you don't want to brush it too much otherwise it'll <laughs> i don't know what will happen try and find out send me a pic <laughs> And then you obviously just want to position it where you want to. Keep it in the middle if that's where you want it to go. Put it to the side, depending what you want it to be like. But there you have the overnight curls. It was super easy. You're not doing any heat to your hair. And you've actually got a nice, even wave, I think. I think I get better 
natural looking waves with this than I would if I was to curl my hair. I probably still will curl my hair but these are for those days that I maybe want to make an effort in lockdown but obviously I don't want to spend hours curling my hair so I literally do it the night before, sleep as I normally would and wake up and voila. At the moment it's obviously at its strongest curl. Um, when I've kind of got the design that I want to do I'll probably go through it with a hairspray. At the moment I'm again using one that I got from a birch box box. Percy Reed London, if that means anything to anyone, I don't know. <laughs> but depending on what style I want, I might leave it like this, I might pin a few up, who knows what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'll just put some hairspray just so it holds. And as any curls do, they will naturally start to become even more natural, like at the moment it's very prominent. As the day goes on, it'll slowly start to just settle in a bit more. Giving you tips all around, I am. <laughs> If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Thank you for also listening to me ramble, rant, throw some of my feelings at you. It was very much needed. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Click the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're also recreating this look, I would love to see some pictures. So thanks. See you soon for another video. Bye. Completely forgot to shout out my um, Stranger Things top because I'm in my pajamas still.